Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove a window and replace it with a sliding glass patio door. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how to do this. Today, we're gonna be working here at my house and this is the existing window we're gonna be removing and replacing it with a sliding glass patio door. The measurement is 60 inches wide and the height of the new door is going to be the standard 80 inches tall which is typical like 70 and a half, 79 and a half inches tall by the 60 inches wide which is 5 feet. We have an existing electrical outlet there in between and then on the outside there's a water spigot that we also need to remove and reroute it, which we'll show you that a little bit later in the video. The first thing that we're doing is removing all the trim and we're gonna cut and remove this sheetrock that's in the way. We cut on either side and we remove the first section that is on the right side of the outlet that we're gonna be taking out and rerouting it. Then over here on the left side, we cut a straight line, remove all the drywall, and we're just gonna keep the area nice and clean so we can just continue to work efficiently. All of this project, we're gonna be able to do it within the same day. And this video, it's gonna show you how to do that. The most important thing is you wanna make sure to get some help. We only had two guys working in the entire project. Then at one point, I had my dad come over because he was the one that helped us to move the the water line it was we found out that it was like copper material so we had to shut off the water to the house drain all the water and then he cut the copper pipe and just moved everything uh just on the other side of this wall so that's what we're doing right here we're cutting the two by four carefully uh, along where that copper pipe is so we can remove all of this wall and open up the area Basically, after we remove all this, the copper pipe is going to be kind of floating there until we can move it, which will happen a little bit later. Then also the electrical, you can see there's wire running through the 2x4s. We're going to be disconnecting all of that. And that wire, we're going to have to run it along the sides of where the door is going to go through the top and then make a connection at the top. We're actually going to need some additional electrical wire to do that but I mean it's not a really big deal then on the outside the same thing we, we just got to remove all the trim in the bottom on the side on the top now the reason why you're gonna see that we're gonna take everything very carefully and also the siding panel is because I'm gonna put it back exactly the same design how you see uh, on these windows if you look on the on the window to the left there's no trim around the windows and that's the same for all around the house. So I told my guys that when I install the new patio door, I wanna keep it the same design, meaning that we're not gonna be putting trim on either side or on the top of the sliding door. We're just gonna put the, we're gonna put the, the T111 siding up against the door so that it matches the design of the rest of the house. And it's, it's gonna, you're not even gonna be able to tell you know, once we complete this project and install the door and, and everything back, you won't even tell that, that this was added at a later point. It's going to seem like it was always part of the house. Now, this area we're working on, it was an extension from the prior owner that they did, and they actually did a great job. Um, we noticed once we opened up the wall, they, they had all the framing, they have the header at the top, everything was in its place. The only thing we had to do to, to put the sliding glass door there is we had to do a little bit of framing at the top because the width is exactly what we needed. It was like just under 60 inches and the top it was a little bit taller so we had to put like a little bit of 2x4s and framing in between so we can have the height where we needed it so the door can be mounted onto the frame. Here at the bottom we removed the top plate and we have the the like the metal there at the bottom we're gonna cut that out with a grinder so we have a clear opening but this is the results after we removed everything now we're just gonna remove the the plywood here on the exterior 
and run the electrical all around this frame so because this electrical that was over here it actually feeds the rest of the outlets and some of the lights on the exterior so we had no choice but to reconnect this wire and the way how we did that we just had to run it all all around um, I mean it was a it was a little bit extra work but it you know it's gonna help out and and pay off in the end so this is that that copper pipe the the plumbing that we're doing right here we basically cut it and um, we're, we're gonna weld that little section with a coupler so the the water spigot it, it's still gonna be popping out over here and we're gonna be able to have the water access for our, our grass or whatever is needed now the reason why we're doing all of this is because on this extension back over here we only had one sliding patio door but in this area it's kind of in the center of the house and and we made like a lot more concrete over here and I'm actually gonna build a covered porch in the future so we wanted to have a, an additional sliding glass door where we can easily access on either side and it's just a lot more convenient so this is the plumbing we already connected everything welded it and it's perfect no leaks so that is taken care of the wire we ran it all around the perimeter on the out um, through um, basically around the sides and the top connected that it's all been taken care of now right here we're gonna clean up some of the lumber and we're gonna add additional framing there at the top so we can have the height that is needed and the only thing that we need to do for that is just put some two by fours one that runs across and then we're gonna put some in between verticals so it, it gives it the extra strength then we we'll just put that extra piece of the plywood there and now we're gonna be able to install and mount this sliding door now this area that you see right here it is completely covered it has an overhang of about like two feet and then like I said in the future I'm gonna put a covered patio so all of this area it's gonna be protected and covered from the elements now to mount the the sliding door it's very easy it has a bunch of holes around the perimeter frame and all you have to do is basically you either nail it in or you can put screws and that's how you mount it all around you just want to make sure that you have it nice and square and 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 uh, plumb so this is the results after we installed the sliding door we basically were able to remove the old window remove all the framing everything that's in the way the water the electrical clean everything up then mounted the sliding glass door to the frame and then we put all the siding back and put the caulking so it's ready to paint then over here on the inside we just have to put the the trim pieces back uh, along the sides in the top there's a little section that we have to put some drywall and finish it up because of the area we had to remove but this is the results and everything is working perfectly and now we have access to all this area in the backyard we hope you like this video please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any videos may god bless you and i'll see you on the next project